Welcome to this week's episode of the DJ Podcast. My name is Peter Morgan, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to adjust the BPM in Ableton Live on the fly. Now in episode 018, I showed you how to automate BPM changes in your DJ mixes. But Birdhouse19 asked how to do this on the fly, in the mix, as if you were doing it live and not automating it. So today I'm going to show you three different ways to adjust the BPM as you're mixing. We have two tracks here. One is at 130 and one is at 134. And we're going to be mixing from the 130 track into the 134 track. So I'll just change this to 130. Now, if you wanted to do the quick swap transition style, the best way to do that would be to play the track, click here in the tempo box, type in the BPM that you want, and at the time that you want the BPM to change, just hit enter. Now let me show you what that looks like in the mix. So that's how you would do the quick swap transition if you were doing it on the fly. You just want to type in the BPM into the tempo box and wait until you want the time in which you want to swap the, the BPMs and then you just hit enter. And that's how to do the quick swap. Now, if you don't want to do the quick swap transition, you can also simply do a similar um, action, but this is, a, and this is for many of the different options in live, but what you can do is play the track and click on the tempo box and use the arrow keys to go up and down in the BPM. Now I will say that if you do this, you can only adjust the BPM in full one, one BPM interval. So right now it's at 130. And if we press up, you can see that it goes up by one BPM. And if you press down, it'll go down by one BPM. So you can do that in the mix. Uh, but as I said, you can only do it in intervals of one. The best way to do this is if you have a mini controller. As you can see, I have the M-Audio X Session Pro out here. And what I'm going to do is to map two of the knobs to adjust the tempo of the live project. What we're going to do is go up to the mini button here on the top right. And you can see that now we have all of these blue options. I'm going to open up our browser here and you can see that we have all of the mini mappings in our project. Right now we don't have any. What we're going to do is click on the tempo and you can see that we have two different options here. One is coarse and one is fine. And I believe that's a new feature to the recent versions of live. I don't think it was in the older versions, but anywho, so we're going to click on coarse and then we're just going to move one of our, oh, I think I accidentally, yeah. one of our mini knobs there. And then we're going to click on fine and we're going to move a second MIDI knob. Now the one important thing to do here is to set the minimum and maximum value of your tempo control. Because if you don't do this, it's going to be impossible to get the BPM close to the new track. As you can see, this value is huge. Now since I know that the track that I'm going from is 130 to 134, I'll just set the minimum as 130 and the maximum to 134 and the degree at which they can go between is now much smaller. So I'm going to get out of mini mapping mode and you can see that if I turn this knob that it changes from 130 to 134 if I go all the way. And you can also see that this top knob will change in a finer adjustment. See? So it doesn't go all the way and each move represents 0 0.02 BPM whereas this bottom one does a much larger range. So now I'm going to show you how you would use that in the mix. So let's start playing it again and over time you'll see that as I move the MIDI controller knob to the right that the tempo will change. So let's take a look at how that works. 
And as uh, as I'm doing this, I'll just sh uh, record it in the automation so you can see what it looks like. All right, so here you can see that we have started at 1.30 and we've gone all the way up to 1.34 BPM. Now you could do this in different directions and you can also you know, play with the knob. If you switch it back and forth really quickly, then it will change the BPM quite drastically. And that's how you can adjust the BPM of an Ableton Live project on the fly.